626 on a Thursday. I know, and I promised you guys this was going to be a heavy one. It's like eating a heavy piece of pound cake at 3 o'clock in the morning. So brace yourselves. This is one you want to look at later at WQAD.com because it's a very detailed uh, question coming in today. So this is from David Moline. When talking about climate change, why isn't the Milankovitch cycle mentioned? And he has a great point because it is relative to uh, changing in the Earth's overall temperature. So what is the Milankovitch cycle? Let's break that down really quickly. What we're highlighting is that wobble of the Earth's axis. Of course, it's a big round planet, but there's different areas of mass in different parts. So the planet doesn't orbit the sun in a perfect circle. It's changing at times, and it's on a really crazy cycle of 10,000 to 100,000 years. So it gets complicated, but stick with me here for a second. We're going to try and break this down. So here's why we can't blame the Milankovitch cycle right now in terms of our warming. So we're talking about different time scales. That Milankovitch cycles I just told you is 10,000 to 100,000 years at a time. That doesn't account for the current period of rapid warming, say, in the last 100 years here, 1850 to 1900. But the last 150 years, we've also realized that the amount of incoming energy from the sun hasn't changed. So while we can't discard this entirely, it does play some role. It's only one factor of a very complicated system. And you notice I've broken down the number of uh, carbon, di carbon dioxide molecules that we're seeing increasing due to the Industrial Revolution human activity. So this is something, again, I encourage you to go to WQAD.com. It is going to be a fantastic read. And I think it'll open your eyes to a couple of more 